and old, a new, the best, and campers. So you remember the friend that I didn't see for 15 years, all the way from university days to meeting here in Amsterdam, him telling me to return back home if I don't get a job. Yeah, that guy. He jumped in and offered me to stay at his place while he was in Croatia. So I had three months, and the plan was go to Croatia for holidays and then come back. I tried to use this three months to get better to shake that burned out outer shell that left from recent past events. I am kind of an old Apple computer enthusiast, and by flipping them, I met a Dutch man. Got to know him, talked quite a bit about future and project that I had on mine. Japanese people use the term misoji to describe a special and difficult form of purification. Misoji is a practice used to purify the body and mind in traditional Japanese culture. It involves submerging yourself in cold water or sitting next to a waterfall. However, the definition of misoji is expanded in modern times. It's a task that tests your mettle and compels you to face your weaknesses, anxieties, and uncertainties. Misoji is fundamentally about transformation. It involves letting go of outdated behaviors and viewpoints and embracing a stronger, more positive version of yourself. You'll unearth a reserve of strength and resiliency that you never knew was there by pushing your physical, mental, and spiritual limits. You'll have greater strength and self-assurance, and you'll be better prepared to tackle the difficulties that life presents you with. And the new fan helped in it. A couple of weeks before the leaving to Rab to do misogies, I stayed at my best friend and will be returning to her place back from Rab. Try to find a job, and I was sure I will manage to do so. Or go back home, and this Amsterdam adventure is over for me. So you wonder what was my misogy? I did try to run, but I managed to survive. I got a bit of help from my camper friends, and no one other than my sister, in an attempt to go around the island of Rave. Yes, you are one of the craziest men I ever meet in my life. <laughs> <laughs> 